BMW M for BMW M4 seems destined to forever be the second most exciting model in the 4 Series clan. Having previously played second fiddle to the water injected M4 GD Sand now finding its position at the top of the range usurped by the fractionally faster, fractionally firmer M4 CS. While the regular M4 remains a hugely desirable performance car, its suitors will be forever gazing over its shoulder and trying to flirt with its sexier sister. But for anyone forced to make do with a regular M4, there is some compensation in the form of a mild facelift for the 2018 model year, bringing the M4 up to date with the rest of the 4 Series lineup. This is a shot of Botox rather than the sort of work involving scaffolding what BMW likes to describe as a life cycle impulse and one that hasn't brought any notable mechanical changes. It does, however, give a chance for the regular M4 to remind us of its still considerable appeal detailing the revisions needn't detain us for long. Indeed, to fill out a paragraph will require some padding such as noting that the US remains the number one global market for the M4 and is among the top markets for the 4 Series. Like its lesser siblings, the M car has been given new headlights incorporating both LED units and a more angular take on BMW's familiar twin circular running lights. It also gets new lights at the rear. Their LED elements subtly changed so that anyone driving an older M4 knows it is wearing last season's fashion. Other spec tweaks include double stitching for the top of the dashboard and some new chrome interior trim. Although the M4 can't be ordered with the digital instrument package that's now offered as an option on the standard for series. No more dramatic on the road we drove to the M4S in the United Kingdom. A manual convertible and coupe fitted with BMW's dual-clutch automatic gearbox a $2,900 auction both of which benefited from the $4,750 competition package that now is specified by a majority of buyers on either side of the Atlantic. In addition to a modest power increase, the compact brings some suspension revisions, stiffer springs, upgraded dampers, and firmer anti-roll bars, plus some software tuning of the various switchable dynamic functions. We're told that the comfort setting with the Compact is broadly equivalent to Sport in the regular car, with Sport and Sport Plus modes doing the same plus one trick. That most buyers choose this package suggests that Munich could take note of its customers' preference for a more intense M for driving experience and make this the standard configuration. Instead, it seems, they've convinced most customers to pay extra for it. While the pairing of an open-top M for with the competition goodies might seem unlikely to work out in its favor, the firmer settings proved to suit the car surprisingly well. The 4 Series convertible lacks something in torsional rigidity. It's not so flexible as a Buick Cascada, but structural vibration is an abiding characteristic. Images in the rear view mirror gain a fuzzy edge, even at low speeds and on apparently smooth roads. And larger bumps create an out-of-phase sensation as the two ends of the car weaker about how to deal with them. Yet, although it rides on firmer settings, the competition-equipped version feels less crashy and we remember the regular M for drop-top being, and it flexes much less with the folding metal roof phrase. The competition package massages the M4S twin turbocharged inline-6 engine to produce an extra 19 horsepower, taking the total to 444, 
but this struggles to make much of a difference against what's placed on the other side of the scale in the open-air model. The convertible is positively obese, weighing over 1,000 pounds, or 505 more than BMW claims for the coupe. The culprit is the retractable hardtop and the hardware required to operate it. We've been told the next generation for series is likely to return to a fabric roof. So while the OM4 is certainly fast, it is markedly less willing and less agile than the coupe. Modest compensation is that it sounds nicer with the roof down, being freed from the digital enhancement that BMW has added to the M4S soundtrack in the cabin. Switching to the coupe reveals a car that feels quicker and keener, even when being driven at a steady pace. Much of this is down to the relative lack of mass, which sharpens responses and makes the coupe feel nimbler, but the dual-clutch automatic of our test car also makes a difference, delivering fresh ratios at lightning speed. BMW has tried hard to disguise that the M4 is turbocharged with sharp throttle responses helping to deliver near instant boost, and the DCD gearbox handles these sudden torque spikes better than the manual does. Although fast, the M4 continues to lack the dynamic annex of its predecessors, with the chassis often struggling to digest the abundance of turbocharged urge. The stability control light resembles a disco strobe if the driver engages in aggressive throttle openings on slippery or bumpy surfaces. The Emperor remains an M car that we don't feel unconditional love for, and these latest revisions have done nothing to address our previous criticisms. It is still a car that seems to have been engineered to deliver performance metrics rather than the sort of life-enhancing dynamic experience that used to come standard with the M badge. For a better take on what we love about M cars, the advice persists that you could save the bundle and pick the smaller M2.